So now we're going to move into the tubing portion of the demonstration. ICU Medical offers a wide variety of tubing choices. Should you need blood set, pump sets, one, two, three ports, filter sets, they have pretty much what you would need. So today's uh, demonstration, I'm using a pump set that has one port, and the name of their ports, needle-free ports, are called claves. This is for any IV pushes closest to the IV insertion site you may need to administer throughout the day. I have already primed this tubing, but I'll just review that for you. So up at the top of the spike, you'll see there's a vent here. So if you have to do any rigid or glass bottle deliveries, you would just open that to vent. There is a little line on the drip chamber. You will want to fill your fluid up to that line. And then moving on down to the cassette, you'll see that there is also a clave here. When you're doing your priming of the tubing, you want to invert that clave so it's basically below or upside down. And then right here, this knob is called the flow regulator. We're going to pull that out to start our priming. So priming will slowly move down the tubing, up and into the cassette, and once it fills this round portion called the air trap, then you want to invert it again so that your clave is now in the upright position. Fluid will then continue to move down your line, and once it gets to your clave, then you want to tip and tap that port to knock any air that may be in there. And then this protected end cap, it will fill up with fluid so you can keep it sterile until you're ready to hook it up to your patient. So let me show you a little bit about the cassette. I did say that there's a clave on top. You do have your flow regulator, which once you're through priming, you wanna push it all the way in so fluid will stop. And then on the back side of this is what's called the finger grip. That's how we're gonna load that into the device. And that's what I'll show you next. Next, we're going to be loading the cassette into the device. As I mentioned before, on the back of this, there's a, what's called the finger grip. So you wanna make sure you grab a hold of that. Open your lever. And then slide the cassette into the door. Close your lever. And now we're ready to program an infusion.